Hello fellow worm enthusiasts, I am Doug Burkett, I am the Bug Doctor, and today we're going to be talking about the critters that are living in your compost worm bins, in addition to the worms, okay? Now, the soil that's in your worm bins is a complex ecosystem, lots of moving parts in there, lots of other creatures that are living in your worm bins besides the worm, helping to break down those nutrients into, uh, <clears throat> into good things that your plants can use. So. The good news is, is that, is that the, the, the insects and the other arthropods that are living in your compost worm bins are not going to escape, they're not going to invade your fruits and vegetables, they're not going to get into your pantry, they're not going to cause you and your family any harm at all, or the worms, right? So, one of the most common critters that are living in your worm bin are called springtails. And I'm all just call them the columbula. They're tiny little primitive insects that have no wings, but many of them can bounce. Okay, they, they spring, right? And these little springtails, there's about 1,200 different types out there in the world, and uh, they come in different colors. They come in white, or brown, or black. They're harmless, but sometimes they can, they can build up to huge numbers. And the way you can keep those springtail numbers down to a, uh, to a minimum Right, is to kind of keep the moisture under control in the, in the worm bin itself. Right, so make sure you bury your food. Uh, make sure if it gets too moist, let it dry a little bit. But also, what you can do is some, some, sometimes you can put a piece of bread or tortilla on the surface of the soil. Leave it there for a couple hours. The springtails will migrate there. There'll be thousands of them underneath that bread or that tortilla. You pick it up, and it'll, the springtails will be stuck to the bread or the tortilla, and you shake it over a little tray. Of, of soapy water, and then you just get rid of the soapy water, and you keep those springtail numbers down to a minimum. But they're always going to be in there, and that's no worry. They help break that stuff down.